This video is going to show how to install a driver for an inkjet printer on the Mac OS operating system. If we open System Preferences and then Printers and Scanners, we'll see that we have no printers installed on this machine so far. We'll assume that the printer you're trying to install is already connected via USB cable or via Wi-Fi. First we click on the Add button down here and we find the printer that we're trying to install, which in this case is an Epson SCP600. Notice that the operating system <clears throat> fills in the default driver down here, which is the Apple Secure Air Print driver. This is where a lot of people make their first mistake. This driver, while it may seem to make things easier, will only give, give you limited use of your printer's functionality. If I click Add, you'll see that the operating system will set up the driver for me. And now we can see the print here in a list. To see what kind of features this drive has provided, we can open a printing application. In this case, I'm going to use Kumage 1 as an example. And you can see here the printer has been selected, but we have only a very, very limited number of media types. We also have a limited number of sizes, and if we open up the driver itself, there is no specific information here apart from the supply levels where we can actually select features of this printer. So this is not going to give you all the functionality you need, especially if you have a really good photo printer. So let's go ahead and remove this printer and we'll do things the right way. This is where you're going to need a connection to the internet and you're going to need to go and search for your driver. So I'm using Firefox here. I'm going to type in the name of the driver I'm looking for. So Google gives me a list of choices here. You just want to make sure that you cl click on the driver uh, manufacturer's website. So in this case, make sure you're clicking on something from Epson.com and not from a third party website. So now that we're on the Epson Show Color P600 page, I'm going to scroll down and Epson have a nice feature in that they detect your operating system and they'll make suggestions on what to download. Now in this case they have a utilities combo package but for this demonstration I don't need all that, I just want the driver. So I click on the plus here and there's the latest print driver version 10.33. So I'm going to download this driver and when it's complete I will run the installation. So we can close this browser tab now. We can go to the downloads folder and this is the driver install that we just downloaded. So we're going to run this basically just click on the buttons required to get the driver installed. It'll tell us how much disk space it needs. We'll need to provide our administrative password. And the driver should install in not a lot of time. So now our driver is installed, we can close the installer, we can get rid of it if we don't need it anymore, and we can close the downloads window. So now we're going to repeat some of the steps we did earlier, except we're going to pick the correct driver. So we're back in the printers and scanners and system preferences. We click on the plus button down here. We again select our printer. Except now down in the bottom, we're going to click on here, and we're going to click on select software. This may be here from a previous installation, so you may not see this. So let's click on Select Software, and this will list all of the software drivers on, this, on your system. And we know we're looking for the P600, so if we type 600 in the filter, we should be able to scroll down and find the driver we're looking for. This is the one that we just installed. So we click OK and Add, and now the driver will be installed. It may require some configuration. And if we launch QImage 1 again, we'll see that we have the same printer name up here, but now we have all the range of media types which the printer supports and the different sizes. And if we open the driver, we will see that there are extra pages here, such as print settings, roll paper settings, which are specific to this Epson printer. 
So this is how you install a driver properly on macOS. Uh, I hope you found this video useful.